Why does understanding Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, and its techniques matter so much for network administrators? Well, to answer that, let's dive into the world of BGP. Think of BGP as a global navigation system for the internet, directing data traffic across a complex network of routes. It's like a highly intelligent GPS for your online data, making sure everything gets to its destination efficiently. And just like a GPS, BGP uses a host of techniques to ensure the journey is as smooth as possible. Now that we've laid the groundwork, let's delve into one of these techniques, BGP regular expressions. Picture a mathematician working on complex equations, using algebra to find solutions. In the world of BGP, regular expressions are our algebra. They are based on mathematical principles and provide a robust tool for matching and manipulating BGP root attributes. This allows for precise filtering and policy control, ensuring that the data traffic takes the most efficient route possible. It's like having a traffic controller for your data, making sure every packet gets where it needs to go in the most efficient way. Stay tuned, as we'll dive deeper into these techniques and their fascinating applications in the following scenes. In this scene, we'll explore how BGP regular expressions work with a full BGP feed to enhance routing decision-making. Imagine a chef with a recipe book, full of different dishes. Each recipe consists of ingredients, cooking methods, and presentation techniques. Similarly, a full BGP feed is a comprehensive set of routing information from all BGP speakers within the network. When we combine this feed with BGP regular expressions, it's like our chef using specific recipes to prepare a diverse menu. The regular expressions act as the recipes, guiding the router on how to handle different routes based on the extensive route information in the feed. This combination allows routers to apply complex routing rules, enhancing network control and flexibility. It's like our chef preparing a unique menu for every guest, ensuring everyone gets exactly what they want. So let's dive into this fascinating world of BGP regular expressions and full BGP feeds and see how they work together to create a more efficient and flexible network. In this scene, we will delve into the practical application of BGP regular expressions with a full BGP feed. Just like our chef, who has learned the art of using different recipes, our network administrator needs to master the use of BGP regular expressions with a full BGP feed. Let's take a real world scenario. Imagine a network experiencing heavy traffic on one of its routes. Our network administrator using BGP regular expressions can identify this congested route within the full BGP feed. This is similar to our chef identifying a popular dish that's running out fast. With this information, our network administrator can adjust the routing policies to divert some traffic to less busy routes. This is akin to our chef tweaking the menu to promote other equally tasty dishes that are less in demand. By effectively using BGP regular expressions with a full BGP feed, the network administrator ensures smooth traffic flow, just like our chef ensures all guests leave satisfied. So let's follow our network administrator as he navigates this complex but rewarding task of efficient traffic management. In this scene, we will explore the various states and statuses within the BGP protocol. Just like a city traffic system, BGP has its own set of signals to guide data traffic. The states include idle, connect, active, open sent, open confirm, and established. Let's think of these states as traffic lights on a busy intersection. The idle state is like a red light, indicating that the BGP process is waiting for a start event. The connect state, akin to an amber light, represents the process of establishing a TCP connection. The open sent and open confirm states are like flashing green lights, indicating the exchange and confirmation of open messages. The established state is the green light, where the BGP peers exchange update messages about the routes. By understanding these states, the network administrator can monitor and manage the BGP processes more effectively, ensuring smooth and efficient data traffic, just like a well-managed traffic system ensures smooth flow of vehicles. So let's dive in and learn more about these BGP protocol states and statuses. In this scene, we're going to explore BGP peering. Think of it as architects designing a city's road network, ensuring connectivity and efficiency. Similarly, BGP peering, which is the process of establishing BGP connections between routers, involves carefully planning the topology of BGP relationships and initial configuration parameters. The initial design can significantly influence the routing performance. So it's crucial to understand the factors that contribute to a successful BGP peering design. These include the choice of peering partners, the number of peers, the location of the peers, and the configuration of the BGP sessions. By the end of this scene, you'll have a good understanding of how to design your BGP peering topology for optimal routing performance. Let's get started. In this scene, we'll dive into the nitty-gritty of configuring BGP peering. 
much like setting up a new account on a social media platform. You'll need to provide some basic information such as your AS number, neighbor's IP address, and the type of peering, either eBGP or IBGP. To start, you need to configure your router with the command router BGP8. This command enables BGP routing on the router and enters you into router configuration mode. Next, to set up the peering, you'll need to specify your neighbor's IP address with the command neighbor remote as. This command tells your router who it's going to peer with. If you're setting up an eBGP peering, the neighbor's as number will be different from yours. If it's an IBGP peering, the AS numbers will be the same. Finally, you may want to set up authentication for your BGP sessions to ensure that only authorized routers can establish a BGP peering with your router. This can be done with the command neighbor password. With these steps, you should be able to set up a basic BGP peering. However, remember that BGP is a complex protocol with many optional parameters, so always tailor your configuration to suit your network's specific requirements. Let's move on to the next scene where we'll discuss a more advanced topic, the conditional advertisement technique. In this scene, we'll be exploring the concept of BGP peer grouping. Much like managing multiple similar accounts on a social media platform, BGP peer grouping allows us to apply common configuration parameters to a group of BGP neighbors. This reduces redundancy and simplifies our BGP configuration process. To start, we will create a peer group with the command neighbor peer group. This command creates a new peer group, which you can then assign neighbors to. To add a neighbor to this group, we'll use the command neighbor peer group. This command assigns the specified neighbor to the peer group you've created. After that, you can apply configuration parameters to the whole group with the command neighbor remote as. This command sets the AS number for all neighbors in the peer group. Similarly, you can set up authentication for all neighbors in the peer group with the command neighbor password. By using peer groups, you can ensure that all neighbors within the group share the same parameters, making the configuration process much more efficient. As we move forward, remember that BGP is a complex protocol, and each network may require a unique approach. In the next scene, we'll dive into the conditional advertisement technique, a smart way of managing route advertisements. In this scene, we will focus on the dynamic neighbors feature of BGP. Picture a bustling city where people constantly move in and out, much like data packets in a network. The dynamic neighbors feature allows BGP routers to respond to this flux, automatically discovering and establishing BGP connections with new neighbors. This offers flexibility and adaptability in dynamic network environments. To enable this feature, we use the command neighbor peer group dynamic. This command tells the router to accept incoming BGP connections from any router within the specified IP address range and automatically assign them to the specified peer group. This dynamic approach can save us a significant amount of time and manual effort when configuring BGP peers in large networks. However, it's paramount to secure these dynamic connections, as they can be exploited by malicious parties. In our next scene, we will delve deeper into the conditional advertisement technique, a strategic way to manage root advertisements. Scene 10, BGP operations, IBGP versus EBGP. After a brief glimpse into the dynamic nature of BGP peering, let's now shift our focus to the two key operations within BGP, IBGP and EBGP. Imagine the network as a bustling city, with IBGP acting as the internal roads connecting different neighborhoods, and EBGP as the highways connecting to other cities. IBGP connections are established between routers in the same autonomous system, AS, akin to the roads within a city. They facilitate internal communication and routing, ensuring data packets can navigate smoothly within the AS. To configure IBGP, we use the command neighbor remote as, on the other hand, EBGP connections are like the highways, linking routers from different autonomous systems. They are the primary method for sharing routing information between different ASs on the internet. To configure EBGP, we use the command neighbor remote as, remember, the difference between IBGP and EBGP isn't just about where they operate, but also how they handle routing information. In our next scene, we will explore the conditional advertisement technique, a strategic approach to manage root advertisements. Consider BGP's conditional advertisement technique, which is like a smart restaurant menu that tailors itself to the diner's preferences. It allows routers to advertise routes selectively, based on certain criteria. Then there's outbound route filtering, which operates like a security checkpoint at an airport, only allowing authorized information to pass through. This technique helps control which routes are advertised to neighboring BGP peers. And let's not forget about communities and extended communities. These are like VIP stickers for your data packages, tagging routes with unique identifiers to influence decision-making and filtering. 
When it comes to scalability, BGP doesn't fall short. Route reflectors and clusters act like a central cafeteria in a university, distributing routing information to multiple routers. This minimizes routing loops and boosts scalability. BGP also uses confederations similar to provinces in a country under a unified administration. This allows large autonomous systems to group their routers into subunits, simplifying routing and maintaining hierarchy. Aggregation in BGP is like a parent asking a child to pick up groceries. It summarizes multiple network prefixes into a single route, reducing the number of updates and improving network efficiency. On the other hand, de-aggregation works like a detailed map of a large country, breaking down aggregated routes into specific prefixes for granular routing information. Address families in BGP are like a post office handling different types of mail. They accommodate different routing protocols and address spaces, enabling the exchange of routing information for various networks, like IPv4, IPv6, and VPNs. Finally, the path override technique is like a traffic officer directing vehicles on a specific route. This advanced feature allows routers to overrule the BGP best path algorithm and force specific routes to be used. In summary, understanding BGP and its techniques is like having a detailed roadmap and a top-notch GPS system for the internet. It's the key to managing and optimizing networks, making sure data gets to its destination efficiently and reliably. BGP is an essential tool in a network administrator's toolkit, and understanding its inner workings is a must for anyone in the field. So keep exploring, keep learning, and keep navigating the fascinating world of BGP.